Welcome to the ConMet service video series. Hi, I'm Roger May, Director of Technical Service at ConMet. For more than 50 years, ConMet has been the industry leader in wheel-in technology. We're now bringing our years of expertise in the form of tips to help our industry's technicians and skilled service personnel. In this installment of our service video series, we will demonstrate how to properly identify a wheel-in by walking through the main four different types of hubs available in North America. Conventional, unitized, pre-adjusted preset, and the complete package, Preset Plus. When it comes down to servicing a vehicle, it is important to know what wheel end type is installed. The first easy way to do that is take the VIN, or vehicle identification number of the vehicle, and call the dealer. They can tell you what the vehicle was originally equipped with. But there are also other ways to get this information, which we will show you next. ConMed entered the hub business in 1964 with what is called conventional or manually adjusted hubs. This was and has been sold as a hub cup stud assembly with the bearing cups and studs installed at the factory and was up to the end user to provide the bearing cones, seals, and a choice of spindle nut to install the wheel in. A unitized hub consists of a precision machined hub, bearing cartridge system that contains inner and outer bearing cups, cones, and lubricant, two wheel seals, an ABS tone ring, and unique hub cap. Unitized hubs are non-serviceable and must be replaced. In 1995, ConMed introduced a new option into the market with a wheel end called Preset. Preset wheel ends were hub cup studs with a premium bearing cup and cone, a precision machine bearing spacer, precise machining in the hub casting for the bearing cup seat, and a premium wheel seal. This wheel end is easily identified by the presence of a spacer between the bearings giving technicians the ability to use aftermarket one-piece nuts or a typical double jam nut for installation. In 2011, ConMet took preset hubs to the next level. By enhancing the bearing spacer and developing a unique and integrated spindle nut captured inside of the hub by the spiral snap ring. Once again, there are premium cups cones already installed in the wheel end. The presence of an enhanced bearing spacer, the control seat machining on the hub casting, a premium wheel seal, and an integrated spindle nut specific to the ConMet wheel end. The spindle nut is multiple pieces, a hardened ground flat washer, outer nut casting, the primary lock ring, and the spiral snap ring to hold it in place. With this nut assembly, the work instruction is on the face of the spindle nut. In summary, the key takeaway from this video is being able to identify the wheel end you're about to work on. For a conventional hub, a manual adjust hub will not have a spacer. For unitized, machined hub, bearing set, seal, and ABS tone ring. For preset, precision machined hub, ground half stand bearings, precision machined bearing spacer, and a premium seal. This spacer is a unique identifying feature for preset hubs that are able to use a variety of spindle nuts. For preset plus hubs, you have a precision machined hub, ground half stand bearings, precision machined spacer, and a premium seal along with an integrated spindle nut specific to the ConMet preset plus wheel end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more service videos like this coming soon.